I guess the biggest is the bureaucracy that that at this small institute uh, there was no bureaucracy. There were people in the same building you could go to who would help you, and who w was clear to them that their job was to help you, <laughs> and they did help you, and they were very helpful. But I think in a huge bureaucracy, so I think the biggest shock is to go from Trudeau to UMass, which is not only uh, an educa you know a, an educational institution, but it's a state educational institution. It's also a medical school, so it has several layers. Uh, uh, many, several layers of bureaucracy. So, and um, the people who are, you know, there's a lot of bureaucracy, and it is a little bit of a shock to deal with it. Um. So, is that, so that's a big difference. That, and also, of course, we didn't do formal teaching. We did. Um, so the scientists really could focus on their research, and I think that's what attracted the the good scientists that came. And you feel that an institute uh, in the eyes of the NIH and elsewhere is fully competitive with the academic programs? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, no, I mean, uh, we, uh, we were, they always encouraged us very much. I, I think everybody appreciated that having a place where the scientists could really focus on their research, not be distracted by uh, bureaucracy and uh, th that, um, that they, everybody could appreciate what a strong, com what a strong thing there are, but the, the current structure of funding can't really support nonprofit private institutes. So what do you see as the future for, for that? I, I think that they will, they will disappear over time.